Welcome back to the Hank Strange Situation, Lifestyles of the Locked and Loaded. Yes, hi. Um, I wanted to know if I can get a McGangbang sandwich. I'm sorry, a what? very luxurious should it's like 300,000 plus car let's start up the uh, the v12 twin turbo engine it's really quiet first of all the engine is super quiet man you know what I think we're gonna take a little drive we're gonna go get a sandwich from the store it's lunchtime so we're gonna go get a sandwich and I think you know you got a Rolls-Royce Wraith if you're gonna go for lunch and get a sandwich there's one place you should definitely go to and uh, that's McDonald's so I say we go to McDonald's here's what I want to get from McDonald's by the way not just any sandwich you know I know there's people out there like I can't believe you're gonna go to McDonald's um, not any sand not just any sandwich do I want to get I want to get what's known as a McGangbang you guys ever heard of that no, you say? You've never heard of it? I will share that with you right now. Yes, it's a real thing. It's an actual thing. See, Google it. Many fast food restaurants have secret menu items, stuff that doesn't appear on the boards that can be ordered as long as you know what you're asking for. And then there's the McDonald's McGangbang. It's a combo of a McChicken and a double cheeseburger. I say we try to get one of those. <laughs> Let's do that. Lola's trying to call me. No time. No time. No time to talk to you, woman. Okay. Why? That's What's up fine. with you? What Star do you? Starve all day. Huh? I said that's fine. Uh, starve all day. Uh, I'm not gonna starve. I promise you. You're I'm not, not gonna, gonna starve because you're what? I'm not gonna starve. Right now, I am driving a Rolls Royce Wraith, and you're totally messing me up. And it's only oh, like three hundred. Tomorrow. Uh, no, it's today. So that's only like three hundred and fifty thousand dollars. If you want me to, oh, if you want me to be on the phone with you talking about it, I guess Heck we could do. No, that. no, no, no. We could do no, that. Yeah. Have oh. fun. Yeah. Maybe I'll have talk fun. to you later. <laughs> All right. Call me later. Bye bye. bye. <laughs> so yeah, let's try to find a McDonald's here. I think there's one not too far away from here. Let's try to go up there and see if we can get us a McGangbang. I wish I even knew how to use the uh, navigation system. Um, I definitely don't know how to use there's oh there's our wipers okay it's pretty user friendly you know same kind of controls like any other car I guess we've got heads up display showing you the time oh it's warning us someone's not safety belted that would be that would be you so you know I'm gonna assume that the coupe version of the Rolls-Royce is for the millionaire who likes driving himself around you know, it's not really made to be, um, to have a chauffeur and stuff like that. It's like, you know, you're Bruce Wayne or something like that. You know, it's like the Batmobile. You're Bruce Wayne. You're, a, well, Bruce Wayne is a, is he a trillionaire? I don't know. But you're, you've got the money, but you like driving yourself around. You don't always want Alfred driving you everywhere you go. So, one thing I could tell you right now, for like a V12 engine, you know, with twin turbos and all that kind of stuff, it's really quiet. Super quiet here. So let's go here. And, you know, easy to drive. It's nice, like, looking down the nose there, and you see that big, you know, big nose and the spirit of ecstasy up there. If, um, if I knew how to use all the, the... I'm literally, this is the first time driving it, guys. We only have this for probably a couple of minutes. So, um, 
There's no time to figure out how everything works. We're just going to take it for a quick drive, go get McDonald's. Do you believe I'm going to actually get a McGangbang? What's the odds? You want to take odds here? No? You think I'm not going to get it, right? Okay. He thinks I'm not going to get it. So. He thinks people... Do you think that people are going to think I'm crazy and curse me out? Yes. <laughs> Let's see. Let's see how many people in the Gainesville area have, like, rolled into a McDonald's with a Rolls Royce and at the same time, like, yeah, I want a McGangbang. That's, that's what I'm here to get. So... I probably will get cursed out to managers. Oh yeah, look at the look at the uh, the uh, stars here in the headliner. That's beautiful. Fiber optic. It's really nice. Um, perforated. The stars coming out. I don't know if you can change the pattern of the stars or whatever, but it's beautiful. It's a nice feature. So here's the climate control here. It's dual climate control first of all. And here's the settings off right here. Soft, medium, high, <laughs> max. I'm, I'm leaving it at soft right now. It's on soft. And then here's look like dials that you can set up. It's really nice. You know? Unfortunately, we don't have enough time to really just geek out on this, but it's beautiful. You know, nice big steering wheel. Um. Yeah, I think I could live like this, man. I think I could roll around in a Rolls Royce every day. crazy. I'm pretty sure everyone else in the line is like, really? This guy's gonna go to, to McDonald's in a Rolls Royce and try to get into the drive-thru? That's also another ghetto thing that I would do with my Rolls Royce. I would totally still go to McDonald's. Yeah. White Castle, that's where I draw the line. Station. Who knew? Badassery, man. Let's see here. I'm gonna I'm gonna wind up the windows. Yeah, I'm gonna wind up the window here. It's just like a regular car. Just like a regular. Except we, you know, we got some got some rainwater on the. I can imagine spending hours just trying to go through the manual of this thing, you know, and figure out how that, you know, how everything works. Which I'm gonna assume you can like. There should be some kind of voice in here that you can program like Jeeves or Alfred or something. And you could say, Alfred, tune the radio station to some hip hop music. And then he does it, but uh, I don't know. I'm not, I have no idea what's going on. Let's see. I wonder if there's a cigarette lighter in here. Probably right here. Yeah, you go. Cigarette lighter. Awesome. It's uh it's lunch rush hour I guess. We decided to come right at noon. You want a cheeseburger? Okay. Yep. Two cheeseburgers. Two cheeseburgers. Throw on the dollar menu. Throw on the dollar menu. Because that's what you do when you're in a phantom. You order the dollar menu. Yes, hi. Um, I wanted to know if I can get a McGangbang sandwich. I'm sorry, a what? The McGangbang. I'm sorry, we do not have a McGangbang sandwich. You don't? Are you no, sure? Sir. Yeah, I'm very sure. I can ask the manager to make sure, but I'm very sure. Yeah, don't can, have you, it. can you ask the manager? Okay, that's. Yeah. I apologize, sir. We don't have that sandwich. You don't have that? Okay. Can I get, what did you want? Uh, two cheeseburgers? Okay, can I get two cheeseburgers? Two uh, cheeseburgers? Yeah, uh, what do you want to drink? No, nothing to drink. Um, and then also, let me get uh, two McChicken sandwiches. Okay. And a vanilla milkshake. What size vanilla milkshake? Uh, small is good. 
All right, so we have one small vanilla milkshake, two make chickens, and two cheeseburgers. Anything else for today? No, that's it. Thank you. 639 is the first one, though. All right, thanks. She doesn't, she doesn't believe me. I guess, you know. What we could do is go ride around in a couple of different... She's actually laughing. You know, we could ride around in a couple... Of, we can go to a couple of different McDonald's, but we really don't have the time. Otherwise, I would go. But they would not serve us a McGangbang at this McDonald's number whatever. I don't know. In Gainesville. We're off Newberry Road. I'm very disappointed. I mean... A dude rolls up in a Rolls Royce, he can't get a friggin' McGangbang sandwich. I'm gonna ask her when we get up there. I'm gonna go, okay, you think I'm messing with you, but I saw this on the internet. And I want what I saw on the internet. You know what I just realized? Are you rolling? You know what I just realized? I didn't bring any money with me. I hope you have some money. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> that would be funny, right? Okay, I know I know you think I'm messing with you, right? Look. Look at this. Right there, what it says on the internet. What does it say? Are you sure I can't get one of these sandwiches? I'm telling you, it's right there on Google. I see. Really? Yeah. Oh, okay. I tried. I tried. What can I say? So, first of all, do you have the small vanilla and two cheeseburgers? Yes. Okay. Yeah, that's me. Chicken? Yes. Okay. Do we need fries? You don't want any fries? Okay, you're skinny. You okay, good? he does. Yeah, he's. Okay. I'm good. Thanks. Are you recording? Yes. See, I try to see if I can actually get what I Google on the internet, but I guess not. But you can ask me, you ask somebody else. Huh? You, you wasn't talking to me. Oh, okay. Yeah, they checked. I asked them to check to see if I can they get... Did. It wasn't me, though. Oh, okay. All right, thank you. I appreciate it. Okay. I am disappointed. Disappointed. This totally ruins my Rolls Royce driving experience. My experience is totally ruined right here, man. Wanted to get a McGangbang. A dude in a freaking Rolls Royce Wraith cannot get a McGangbang up from McDonald's. That is sad. That is really sad, man. I'm really saddened by the sadness of that. Okay? Very disappointed in that, but, you know, we got a milkshake. I got, you know. I'm not going to eat. In Kevin's Rolls Royce, by the way, if anyone, if anyone's curious, if I'm actually going to eat up in Kevin's Rolls Royce, I don't think so. Get a big gangbang going here. So I'm gonna 
buy the extreme. And uh, I don't really think I need the extra bread. But uh, we'll save that. And here I go. A McGangbang will be had one way or the other. 